Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Cameron J and I am here today to discuss some changes that are going on within YouTube that might affect some of your favorite creators. So about 24 hours ago, a lot of creators on YouTube were notified that YouTube will now be enforcing the new COPA law. Long story short, going forward, YouTube is going to be limiting ads, comments, notifications, stories, and some other features on channels whose content they feel is made for kids. Now, like I mentioned before, this could possibly affect a lot of your favorite YouTubers. Uh, gaming channels, family vlog channels, channels like mine that really fall into this gray area. So if you're a fan of my channel, you know that I'm all about, you know, optimism, trying to look at the bright side, praying for folks, you know, all of that. But my main issue with this rollout and what YouTube is doing now is that it's so vague. Take a look at the criteria for what they think uh, is made for kids. It's just very vague stuff like the subject matter of the video, if children are the intended audience, if the video includes actors or models, if the video includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children. Everything appeals to children. So that's just a very vague thing. And with me doing characters on my channel, although my channel is not for kids, if you watch my channel, you know it's not for kids. We talk about adult things, but I do characters. So I'm afraid that my channel may fall into this and ultimately it's gonna be up to YouTube or their automated whatever to decide. And it just feels like, almost like I'm being punished for having a clean brand. Anyway, some other things they said, if it includes language that's meant for children to understand, Children understand a lot of words, so that doesn't make sense. Your video may be made for kids if it includes activities that appeal to kids. So, once again, singing, dancing, where does this fall? I honestly wish YouTube would have gave some examples of popular creators and or of popular videos and then made it clear, you know, like, this is made for kids. This is an example of what we consider made for kids. A lot of channels may not be affected by this. Um, I don't think I will, but I'm making this video just because I don't know and and I have to change the direction of what I'm doing because I don't know if eventually I'm going to be moving to a different platform because of this. Oh, I also have to mention that on the FTC website, it states that you can be fined for up to $42,000 for violating this law. Um that's just ridiculous and I have like 400 videos so now I have to go and figure out which ones I think they think you know like like I said I don't create content for kids so I think if my channel is going to be affected I want it to be affected for the truth so I am going to select that my content is not for kids because I personally believe it's for teens but I'm just letting y'all know that's kind of the point of this video to let y'all know that if something happens to my channel or if I have to call on your support um, to move to a different platform. A lot of creators, to be honest, will probably be calling on your support right now. And I just ask that you, you know, support who you support. If you really do watch somebody all the time, whatever call to action they have, not just me, you know, any creators, whatever call to action they have for you, whether it's a Patreon or donating or whatever, just try to help them out because YouTube, while I feel like they do value creators, Creators are not the top priority, and they've made that clear through multiple actions, and I just don't know how long the platform will be around if they continue to uh, shrink and limit what you can do. I'm not even so much concerned about the money, you know. I can do sponsorships. I have a good following on Instagram, Facebook, and all that. So I could possibly try to figure out more sponsorship things, but one, people don't want to see that all the time, and then... The main thing that bugs me about this, y'all, is that they're saying if your content is labeled as made for kids, that they're turning off the notifications. YouTube already don't notify people as it is. Like, y'all already, like, that system is already not as good as it could be. I actually have a great turnover rate of people who click the notification bell or whatever because I remind people every day. But to say that because your content is made for kids, we're not going to send it to them. I just don't, I don't understand. And then I'm wondering what happened to YouTube kids. Because wasn't that a thing? Wasn't there a platform specifically for content for kids? But I guess, I guess whatever they thought they were going to do with that didn't work out. But I really do feel like there's another way that they could have went about 
this as opposed to trying to make the creators into babysitters. And now not only do we have to worry about not being too adult, but now we can't be too family friendly. I... Woo! Jesus be, Jesus be a sponsorship, okay? I don't know, what do y'all think about this down below? I really, really want you guys to give me your feedback about what you think I should do going forward. I'm gonna be postponing uh, Starkeisha's bedtime stories. After looking at everything, I do feel like that story is pushing it a little bit with the whole made for kids thing and I don't want to give YouTube any reason to target me. So I'm definitely going to hit the wall, you know, until I figure out that situation. And the news, I believe, is perfectly fine. We're talking about adult topics in pop culture news. So I feel like the news will be fine. Um, a lot of my covers and mashups and stuff, I don't think it's for kids, but... This is not up to me, y'all. And what I want y'all to understand is that it's not going to be up to other creators as well. On behalf of all the creators here on YouTube, it's just like, we're going to need your support going forward. We're going to need your support. So if you have a favorite creator that you watch that you think might be affected by this, maybe reach out to them and see if they're even aware of it. I upload content twice a day, so of course I saw it as soon as uh, they sent it out. But... Maybe some other creators don't know. I don't know. Maybe everybody's going to make a video about this. Um, I don't know. I definitely feel like I'm going to survive. But it just sucks that I've given this much time to this platform only to be sort of shunned for trying to make it something that everybody can consume. I don't know. But subscribe to my channel. Continue to watch the Get Ready News Monday through Friday. I'm going to continue to put out covers and other stuff as well. And we'll just have to see what happens in January 2020. But leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think I should do. If you think I should start a Patreon. If you think I should try to move to a different platform. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This combined with Instagram changing their likes. And TikTok is on the rise. And it's going to be a wild year. This, this next year in 2020. So I'm ready. And I hope y'all are ready. Alright. Peace.